One thing I've learned is that you all are at a point where you are in essence adults. Maybe legally you're not quite there, but you're just about there. And so you become very independent. And so when someone comes to speak to you who's a stranger, it's often tough to get you all to concentrate on what I say. But I know this, whenever I get one of your peers up here, you'll focus. And what I always find that's amazing is that regardless of who they are, they always perform. And, and sometimes they don't believe it, but before you know it, they've done what we've asked of them. These guys, I, I don't know if you guys, Miguel, you or Joey have ever thought about this, but there is no reason in the world why they cannot be members of Congress. I say this, I say this from here to you. There is no reason in the world why they cannot be members of Congress. I am the first in my family, extended family, to get a college degree. I am the son of a, an immigrant who went to about the sixth grade in school. He did everything from clean the holes of the ships here in LA Harbor to fix the brakes on the, the road, the cars for Southern Pacific Railroad. He canned tomatoes for Campbell's soup. He picked every crop you could think of up and down the state of California. And then he ended up spending about 25, 30 years working in road construction building, building roads. He didn't know how to get me to college. My mom came from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico when she married my father. She, she knew no English. But now I've had a chance to introduce my parents to the President of the United States. Joey and Miguel, just like any one of you, if I were to have you come up here, could be a congressman or a congresswoman. And I say that with all sincerity. I hope that you will think of what you want to be, because here you have two individuals who are about to give us a quick debate. Okay, so Miguel, what's your full name? Miguel Ponce. Okay, Congressman Ponce. Congressman Ponce, you stand on that side. Congressman Moreno, you stand on this side. This is the way you have your, your brothers that are here on this side, and you have your brothers who are on this side. This is what they do. Now, Congressman uh, Moreno asked a very simple question. Why won't all of you who pay all this money out of your pockets, or your parents who probably aren't rich, why is it that they have to give their money to give it to folks who are very rich in Wall Street, who lost the money because they gambled the wrong way, and now they've caused this economic crisis? Why do they get $700 billion dollars when yet you can't figure out a way to pay your teachers the same amount of money that the guys in Wall Street look at and get in a month. So now you're going to tell us why. <laughs> get to hold the mic. Why? Is there greedy? Is there greedy? Why else? Maybe they have a little bit more political power than some of us? Yeah. Maybe they know how to game the system better than some of us? Yeah. Maybe they, uh, because they're more wealthy and influential, they know a lot of the members of Congress and are able to persuade those members of Congress to help them pretty quickly? Yeah. I think those are good reasons, no? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Did the Congressman give you some good reasons? Yeah. Okay, Congressman Moreno, you just heard why. What do you have to say? Can you repeat that? that see, that's, a, that's a, a really good debater's tactic to sort of throw them off, right? What are you going to do when you get older? What do you think you're going to do when you get older? College? Nope. College? Nope. Maybe? Nope. Try? Nope. Possibility? Hell. <laughs> you want a million bucks? College. College. There you go. He's going to college. <laughs> college? College. College. Where? USC. Cal State, USC, UCLA. I went to Stanford, uh, Harvard, Yale. Uh, L.A. Community College to start off, East L.A. College. University of South Central. USC. USC. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Do me a favor, can you thank the two members of Congress, Congressman Moreno and Congressman Ponce, Ponce, for having been willing to come up here and stand up the way this debate will stand up soon. I'll let the, uh, the pros go to work. I hope what you'll always remember is that one of these days, someone is going to pull you out, and whether you wish to volunteer or not, someone's going to call you up. And that's what you're going to have to do. With. And as prepared as you could be, you need to perform. Because it won't just be for you. You may be representing some students in school. You may be representing your family who's trying to get health care. One of these days, it'll be your turn. I hope you'll think about that. Joey, I hope you will consider college. Because if you want that million bucks, that's the surest way to get it to you, at least legally. And I think you... You should give it, give it a go the way your colleague, Mr. Ponce, Congressman Ponce will. I thank you for giving me your attention. I appreciate your time. Get ready for your debaters. Thank you very much.